This painting by Diego Velasquez is titled Christ in the House of Mary and Martha, and it shows a dramatic space for a powerful psychological narrative concerning things such as the role of women and of youth and old age and expectations and aspirations. The biblical scene is in the background, perhaps a reflection in a mirror, and in the foreground is the earthy physicality of the women, their clothes and everyday utensils and food. An everyday background scene brought to the foreground and prominence. Memento mori is a Latin phrase meaning remember you must die. Memento mori paintings usually show symbols such as a skull or clocks, extinguished or guttering candles and fruit and flowers. As in this painting by Maria von Ustvik titled Vanitas and Still Life. Memento mori and Vanitas paintings flourished in the Netherlands in the 17th century. Vanitas paintings show objects symbolic of the inevitability of death and the transience and vanity of worldly pleasures and goods, as in flowers that sometimes are shown on the way to decaying. This still life by Picasso continues the tradition of Memento Mori and Vanitas, reflecting the hardships, including not enough food, that people were undergoing when he was living in Paris during the Second World War, when Paris was occupied by German troops. There's an intensity here through the strong lines of flat shapes and the bold colour contrasts. This drawing of a skull by Picasso has a strong presence and a sense of urgency heightened by his writing the exact date. A skull is a widely used symbol, of course, that appears in many everyday things. And of course, we all have one. Subodh Gupta has used everyday stainless steel cooking utensils to make a huge skull titled A Very Hungry God. The shiny metal sculpture uses small objects to create a big monument. It can be interpreted in many ways, such as how some people have plenty of food and others do not. What creates inequalities? The mass consumption of materials such as steel, Hindu and Buddhist myths, and philosophical questions about human nature. Shani Rhys Jones has created a contemporary political narrative about domesticity with everyday objects in her home. And in another painting, you can see she really enjoys using paint and creates an expressionistic painting using bold colours and brushwork and simplified flat areas as a backdrop to the empathy for the child figure and the intimately connected object. In Woman and Cosmetics, Wayne Tebold is also making a strong statement about the situation of women with every, everyday objects in a dramatic interplay with the background. With these cakes, he is making a statement about consumer culture and about painting and image making, about colour and pattern linked to pop art. This beautiful painting titled Sam Spoon by Avigdo Arica shows the passing of time in, in the light and the shadows, in the creased cloth and in the spoon given as a memento to the artist's daughter on her birth by the writer Samuel Beckett with Beckett's name engraved on the handle of the spoon that had been Beckett's christening spoon, painted on the first anniversary of Beckett's death. As with the Velasquez painting, this painting by Maria Lasnik shows two women in a double self-portrait, women using objects with a sense of agency and self-determination as artists or rather a single artist in a double self-portrait. My painting here, titled Reverie, suggests time passing and a nostalgic mood in a portrait of a friend in a domestic setting, partially hidden behind the large close-up of flowers in the foreground. Again, it's a narrative between what's happening in the front and what there is behind and with the black being a very important colour here among the other colours. 
and showing different ways of using paint with simplified areas and gestures and marks and more worked up, intensely worked up areas for details as in the face, with the posture of the figure in a, in a relationship with the other elements in the image, such as the folds of the fabric and the flowers. <laughs> 